One week after a deadly shooting along the Tuscaloosa Strip, the focus is shifting to preventing future crime in the area. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains why everyone has to be on the same page for it to work. Tuscaloosa bar owner Chris Coleman says he's worked with the police chief and other city leaders to do what he can to make the strip a safer place. I feel like most every place down here tries to do the right thing all the time and I have no problem walking around you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's generally a safe environment. But he says in order for it to remain a safe environment, every business has to be willing to do what it can to help. A place or so that uh, I don't feel like they try and do everything the best. Coleman says he's spoken with Mayor Walt Maddox and members of the city council about making sure other businesses along the strip do what they can to keep their venues from becoming too crowded. He says large crowds can often lead to serious problems or even violence, harming innocent bystanders in the process, which leaders say could have easily happened the other night. It could have been a lot worse, and if you see some of the videos, you'll hear the ricochets going up around. Those went somewhere. Councilman Lee Busby says the city has appealed to bar owners in general to help keep things from getting out of hand. At the same time, he says you have to look more closely at what business owners have control of and what they don't. There's several dials we can turn. I'm not going to talk too much about those on TV yet until the councilman get a chance to talk. Now, first, we'll need to see the investigation results and what comes back. And Councilman Busby says it's hard to dedicate more law enforcement officers to the strip because so many are already patrolling the area, especially on game weekends. City leaders and bar owners are standing firm that violence of any sort will not be tolerated. Back to you.